today we have a work that talks all about miracles and it's all about what people wish for, what people have received. And it's an exhibition about um, hoping for healing, stability, love, family, um, all of those kinds of things that you wish for. So we took traditions that happen in different countries where people ask for miracles from supernatural deities or sometimes from themselves and then they manifest their thanks and their gratitudes for the miracles in some form of art. And then what Dr. Congdon and I did, we wanted to know what would this happen if Floridians did it. So Dr. Congdon and I sought a grant from the Florida Division of Cultural Affairs and their grant enabled us to go into three separate sites from the coalition and offer art workshops. I seen some, um, a gift that my daughter had did for the art exhibit and I seen her picture on the wall. So. I'm glad I really did come because out of it, it was just like a, a eye open and a heart just swamming, it just like overwhelming. My connection is a little bit difficult to explain because it really comes from a perspective of enjoying folk art and enjoying um, a different type of art history that acknowledges the art that comes from the community. And at first I looked at the collection of body parts made out of wood and I was like, okay, what can I do with this? But the more I study, the more I realized that every single piece was a story from a person that had a real issue. It shows that universally, this is something that we all do. We wish for miracles. And we often solidify or communicate what it is that wish is by making an object. And I think that's, that shows a side of ourselves as humans that we, we tend to lose with technology and the busy lives and not paying attention to other people when in fact there is that need to help others that we have inside of us. And it's extraordinary, really extraordinary for an undergraduate student to do something like this. It's extraordinary for her to be able to get a gallery like Crealdi's gallery and to convince um, a gallery committee made up of very established artists that this was important. The one message I like people to walk away with is the fact that no matter what situation you're in, somebody has been through it before and somebody has found a way out and there is a way out for any issue that we encounter. <laughs>